Siberia is a show about 16 contestants that go compete in Siberia, Russia in the most brutal circumstances you could possibly imagine. They're just dropped off there to realize that the first bad news that they're gonna get is that they're competing with the clothes off their back. They all wanna win that $500,000 prize. So the stakes are really high for each of these characters. That's why as an audience member, you do go on that roller coaster ride and you fall in love or, or hate to love or love to hate these characters because you do realize that their stakes are so high. But then it raises the question, what if? What if something happened terrible on a Survivor show? What if something happened terrible on Bear Grylls? You know, are people really willing to do whatever it takes and go home in a body bag for $500,000? Or do people want the recognition that badly that a reality show would give them? So I think that's what Siberia has managed to do. It's just raised that question. And I'm really excited and proud of, of the way they've done it, the producers and, and the whole team, because a lot of the audiences are wondering, is it real? Is it fake? What's going on? It is a drama. It's a scripted drama. But if, if anybody wonders if it's real or fake, then we did our job right. So that makes us really happy. Well, it was created by Matthew Arnold. Mm -hmm. um, he's a very, very smart guy, and he came up with the entire concept. Um, and then, obviously, when we were when we got explained um, what exactly it was going to be, I mean, it was essentially pitched to us as a the love child of Survivor and Lost. Uh, I was instantly intrigued, personally instantly intrigued, because I love both of those shows. Um, and I was also excited to be part of something that seemed as though it was gonna uh, break new ground as far as television is concerned. And not, not only within like storytelling and everything else, but also the way television is made as well, you know, taking almost an independent film model to create television and then Shoppers Networks. It was, everything about it was new and exciting. And it's I think, very fresh. Yeah. It's, it's a whole new genre that hasn't really been exploited too much on television. I mean, film has done it with Blair Witch, with Paranormal Activity, but television hasn't really done it. So to take on something that was so fresh and authentic and new and that raised these questions that I'm sure as a fan of reality, a lot of people have, you know, what if something really went wrong there? What happens when, you know? So to raise those things and, and to really go through those emotions, for me as an actress, that was something fantastic to take over and I'm really grateful that, that I was giving the chance. <laughs> if you look at reality TV the way it stands today, um, I think we all know and have all watched reality TV and we know to an extent that it has been, it's contrived somehow, or the, the producers have told somebody to act a certain way, or they're trying or to the get the story out. the magic of editing. Out. The magic you know, of editing. Yeah, the magic of editing. So they're, they're in a way, we've suspended our disbelief with that and gone, oh, this is real, when we know it's not really real, but we've just taken it a step further and said, well, let's not even, let's make a full story. Let's have these mysteries and, you know, uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll delve into the supernatural or whatever, but shot, shoot it through that same reality lens to and give I it that feel. You and know? I think the show escalates so much. It's just starting. We've only had three episodes. We're continuing with our fourth next Monday because we took a little pause for the royal baby. <laughs> so, so we're continuing with our fourth next Monday. But it's just started. But as you realize, as the audience realizes, the show just escalates. It you, you, you will watch it as an audience member and forget about the whole reality aspect. You will just fall in love with these characters and you will go on that roller coaster ride. But it does escalate to a level where I know that on day one, on the pi when people are watching the pilot, they're never going to believe that it gets to the level where it's going to get. It was extremely dramatic. That's part of that's part of the the fun with the show is because we don't know where you know the scripted stuff ends and the reality begins. That's where the lines are so blurred because the actors were myself. I had a pretty cushy, but the he actors he had a were, cushion. Yeah, he's the host, so the host is getting pampered. Yeah, but um, let me tell you the reality. It was pretty miserable no, for these guys. For us, it was extremely. It was brutal circumstances. That's why it feels so authentic, and that's why it feels like a reality because. Just, just an example, on day one of production, I step on a frog because they make us go through this pond. I step on a frog, twisted my ankle. Guess what? It's not part of the storyline. Rough it up and keep going. So there I was limping like, oh God, I look really bad because my character's not supposed to limp, but my ankle's twisted, you know? And, and one of our characters, when you see that he chopped off his finger, Johnny, that really happened. That wasn't in the script and it really happened and they really went with it and shot it. So a lot of the things that happened in the show are real and that's why it feels so authentic. The information was withheld from the cast, you know. So the scripts, sometimes they were purpose purposely withheld from the cast. So that's why everything feels so authentic because it really was happening a lot of it.